<clears throat> this video is about the uh, HP 3581 wave analyzer, which uh, is this unit right here. At this point in time, I've got it set up for the uh, calibrate function, which uh, you do first before taking any other measurements. Um, calibration has occurred at uh, 10 K Hertz, um, and that can be adjusted uh, with a lot of precision, or you can, uh, once you get there, set the AFC and it'll lock in the uh, 10 kilohertz. Basically then, um, what you're gonna do is check to see if the uh, meter is um, on one volt peak to peak, which is what it's measuring now, voltage. I can adjust that with the uh, uh, trim pot right here on the front panel uh, for calibration. Once the unit is calibrated, you'll notice here is the uh, waveform that is coming out of the back of the unit it's provided as an output that is a variable amplitude so you can um, uh, use that for uh, other things in your measurements uh, if i vary this now i'm going to take it out of the calibrate mode so that it's now looking at the um, input from the uh, hp um, oscillator here and i'm going to run it down i'll take it out of afc and i'll run it down to where this oscillator is set, which is approximately two kilohertz. You'll see they're starting to uh, deflect at that point. And peak reading, peak indication, is uh, right around two kilohertz, 1996. <clears throat> um, this is now frequency of the waveform. What I have on the screen here is now frequency of the waveform that the uh, unit is generating. This is the waveform coming out of the HP oscillator, so they should look identical in terms of frequency. Um, I can set this to, uh, once again, if I want to, the amplitude, if I vary it on here, I can set that up as a one volt peak to peak as well. Um, <clears throat> a couple other things that uh, the unit I want to demonstrate. Um, this input sensitivity switch, if I set it too low, uh, or rather uh, set the uh, input uh, selection at too low, then you'll get the maximum max input indicator light coming on, which uh, tells you you've uh, got too high an amplitude coming into the unit for an accurate measurement. Um, the other thing we can do uh, with the unit is um, select frequency and then take it out of manual sweep, put it into um, repetitive sweep. Right now I'm set on one second and I'm set at a frequency span of 200 hertz. So if you look at the output of the uh, 3581, every second it is sweeping over 200 hertz from the frequency that I've got it set at. Um, and one of the reasons for um, these various features is because this device will also drive printers and plotters and um, the uh, repetitive or snapshot indications of some of those things. If you think you have spurious signals around, uh, uh, the frequency that you're measuring is um, very helpful. You can tighten up that frequency span too with this and now we're on a 50 cycle uh, span. So it's going to oscillate around a 50 cycle range from where we've got it set at. So if we set it at uh, 2K, it's going to oscillate 50 cycles around that 2K range. <clears throat> so uh, I'm not going to demonstrate anything uh, more on the unit at this point in time, but um, there's three modes of operation. Right now we're measuring volts uh, on the uh, RMS volt scale. You can also measure dB. There's a 90 dB scale and a 10 dB scale uh, for finer um, readings. And uh, I think that's about it for uh, what I want to demonstrate at this time.